Hey, what's going on, AP World people? Video 18 last. This is on the spread of crops and their impacts. So let's start off talking about what crops are spreading and from where. Well, we have rice and cotton. They're going to spread from South Asia to the Middle East. And as they do, this will encourage changes in farming and irrigation techniques, which we'll talk about in the next couple of slides. So the very first one is going to be the Kanat. This was developed by the Persians around the first century BCE. And it was a public works project under the Achaemenid Empire that we talked about in period one. And it brings water from the underground to needed areas. So especially water on a hill. If water is up here, it's actually this long tunnel-esque shape that will bring water to fertile land or to a town or village that is in need of it. And this will help foster crop production in drier areas. Okay, now let's talk about water wheels. We have the Norea, which uses the power of moving water to bring water to needed areas. So this will spin around due to running water from say a river. And then there'll be little buckets in there that will help transfer water to another area. Now the Sakia is similar to this, but this is when it lifts water from a well. So it's not a running water source like the Norea, but rather a water source such as a well. And we'll see that it will bring water up here. It'll dump it into this little rectangular shape and then bring the water down into this bin here. So finally, we'll finish up with water pumps. The Shadoof was something that could lift water from a source and move to a needed area via a bucket. So you have this long branch basically that you're able to spin around so you can pick water up from a source and then spin around and bring it somewhere else. And again, all of these were ways of bringing water from where it naturally is to a new place. So quick recap, just be able to identify and explain irrigation techniques used during this time. I pick one or two of those that you're familiar with in case you have to write about them in an essay or short answer question. All right, guys, that is it for period two. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you back here for video 19 the Byzantine Empire, beginning of period three. Best of luck on all your tests this year and have a good day.